Hi, this is George Cow, and today I want to offer you a free tool to help you track your clients, uh, particularly how many calls your client, a certain client has left with you, how, therefore how many calls you have left with all of your current clients, um, and also how much room do you have for accepting new clients. This tool will help you track all that. So first thing is that this tool is in Google uh, Drive, and Google Drive is free. So if you have, don't have an account, you have the Google Drive, get a free account. It's awesome. I use it every day. It's drive.google.com. Once you sign into Google Drive, uh, then come back to this video and find the link to this template. The link to this template will be given in the notes area of this video. Once you come in here to this template, what you do is you click File, and you click Make a Copy. And this will then copy all the formulas uh, so that this template can work for you as well to make the right calculations. Okay, so let me kind of walk you through the template what we're looking at here. First of all, this first column is a client name. Uh, I've used fake names um, and fake email addresses here. Um, and then this one is the start date. So this is basically helpful for you to know when you started working with a client, how long they've been with you. This is just for your information. By the way, if you want to hide any of the columns, you can click on the column itself by clicking on the, the letter at the very top of the column, and then you can click on the drop-down menu, and then you can click Hide Column. So I'm going to do that right now just to show you what happens. Okay? Hide Column. And then if you want, and you can hide multiple columns if you want. If you want to expand a hidden column, you, you just notice these, um, sorry, no, notice these, these, uh, these arrows here. If you click on the middle of the arrows, it'll expand the column again. Okay. So uh, most recent call is when the client just had a paid call with you, paid session with you. So for example, you, as, you, as you can see here, Morgan just had a call with me, and again, these are fake names, right? Morgan just had a call with me on July 13th. Uh, Sarah, Sarah is um, complete with all of her calls. So she paid me for a, a package. We've already completed all the calls, so I put complete here. Uh, Chuck uh, just had a call on, on uh, July 10th, okay? Um, so uh, the thing about this is, the great thing about this is that this top cell here will automatically track what is the most recent call you've had with any of your clients. And so what I recommend that you do is at the end of each day where you've had a client call, come into your template and put in which client was it and what was today's date. And if you do that, for example, uh, it'll automatically update this, you know, it'll automatically update what is most recent. So that I always look at the spreadsheet and I go, okay, did I track my client calls today already, you know, or yesterday? And I'll be able to see what, what date it was that's the most recent date listed there, okay? So uh, let's see what else. Um, okay. Uh, oh, the other thing about the spreadsheet that you can, you can uh, uh, track just going to do some fake numbers here. You can also sort by the most recent calls. So let's say you want to know which client is, it's been the longest since you've talked with them. Then you click on the, the top of the set, uh, top of the column here. You click on the arrow here and then you click sort sheet by A to Z. Click on that and it'll automatically sort. Oh, okay, Chuck, it's the, I haven't had a talk with him in a while, let's say. And um, so I need to then schedule the next appointment. What I've done here in this next column is when is the next appointment scheduled, okay? I've automatically programmed it such that uh, it'll be yellow if you haven't filled in anything. So, okay, I need to follow up with Chuck about scheduling the next appointment because there's nothing scheduled. Let's say I already followed up and the next appointment is scheduled for, you know, September 20th. Then I'll just put that there. As you can see, the color automatically changes, and I'll know that, all right, great, I've already completed with that. Fully scheduled means that uh, Morgan and I already worked out our calendars, and he's already scheduled all of his appointments going forward, so it makes it nice and easy there. Uh, and again, she's already completed all her calls, so there's no need to schedule an appointment. And then, um, uh, and sometimes what I'll do is, if I've reminded a client to schedule an appointment and they haven't responded yet, I'll just put a 1x, meaning I've sent them one email. If I sent them two emails, then I put a 2x. If it gets to something like 3x or 4x, I may, I may need to call the client or contact her another way, like through Facebook or something, to say, hey, uh, we need to schedule our next appointment, et cetera, okay? 
Um, number of client hours remaining. This is really cool because this will calc. This is basically how many paid client hours the client has left with you if they've already if they're in. It, this is calc. This is regarding if you've sold them a package of sessions. So that's the way I work in my program. People either buy a package of, usually they, they buy a package of 10 sessions with me, for example, so, or 20 sessions with me. So then, uh, for example, Chuck here has just three client hours left. So what that means is every day when I come in and update this, update the most recent call, whether I have a next call scheduled, I also say, oh, I already had a call with Chuck today, let's say. That means uh, Chuck has two client hours left. Now, why is this 10.375? I calculate if a client does a half hour call with me, that's considered 0 0.625 of a client hour. So in other words, if a, a, a half hour isn't just 0 0.5, it's 0 0.625 because there's additional time uh, for decompression. It's more logistics to schedule. It's basically not as easy for clients to have half hours with me than it is to have a one hour. It's just easier on my business. Uh, it's easier on their schedule as well. So I try to incentivize people towards doing an hour's long sessions instead of half hour sessions, which is why this calculation is here. So for example, um, let's say Morgan had 11 hours with me left, but then he opted to do a half hour session with me. So 11 minus 0 0.625 means that he has now 10.375 hours left. Does that make sense? So you just keep going on that calculation. And the, um, this top number will automatically calculate for you the total number of client hours remaining that you owe your clients total okay, for this period or for, uh, basically for, for whenever you're tracking this for. Uh, this, is a, this column is for, for your own tracking of how much clients have paid. Um, so you can say, oh, wow, my clients thus far have paid if you... If you um, if you highlight, by the way, I should show you this. If you highlight numbers, like click and drag and highlight numbers, you'll see the sum is automatically calculated over here. So like that, okay? And you can click on the sum. You can even see what the average is. The average client has paid $2,000, let's say. So that's pretty cool, okay? Um, all right, let's go to, let's see, number of calls total. This is for your own tracking, just for your own information. They've bought 20 call package or 10 call package. And this over here, let's move over here, is to help you track whether um, you have scheduled your first call with them or whether you still have to schedule a first call with them, whether you've added them to your current client email list, your current client's Facebook group, your LinkedIn and Google Plus if you use that stuff, or if you have their birthday on your calendar if you want to track that. And uh, finally, let's go to the next tab, availability. And this will help you track how many client spots you can still take remaining. You start this using this tool by uh, using the start of the week. Okay, so the t this week is July 13th, 2015, so that's that's the, the date there. The no uh, Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, um, I should mention that... Um, uh, give me a second here. Okay, you only touch, you only mess with the yellow uh, cells here. And don't leave the white ones untouched because they will automatically calculate. So this week is week number 29 in the, in the course of the year. This is week 29. So the weeks remaining, this automatically calculates 52 minus 29. It automatically does that. How many vacation weeks are you taking left? I'm, I'm just going to put five for how many weeks of vacation I have left. Enrollment weeks is where you focus on marketing and don't take any client calls. If you do that, then, then put a number here. I put two here. How many realistic paid client hours do you have per week? Just based on your history and what you're able to schedule every week and your own energy level, I put 12 here that I'm able to do per week. Um, this, therefore, this automatically calculates how many realistic paid hours for the rest of the year that you have. Um, it'll, it calculates based on these other numbers. If you're teaching a course uh, and that, that eats into your paid hours per week, you might want to put that here. For example, I'm teaching a course later this year. It'll be four weeks and it'll take four paid hours per week from me just in terms of what I'm able to in my own schedule have as working uh, sort of focus client or teaching hours, right? So this is basically will automatically calculate how many hours left you have to take client calls for the rest of the year. 
Um, this is how many session hours per client package. So let's say your average uh, sessions package is 10. That means you can now take 16 clients more. Okay. So I hope that this tool is helpful. I'm always open to your questions and comments. And until the next video, I wish you well.